失われし魔導兵器グラディオン彼らの手には決して渡るはずのないものだったはずこれは想定外ではありませんかなジャボー殿おっしゃる通りあの杖は彼らの手に渡らぬよう私が消し去ったはずよもや別の時代で手に入れようとは yeah, you have known, but... そういえばシャーターあなた使ったでしょう過去と更新する術をまさか過去に飛ばされた救世主たちと接触したというの<笑>ありえる話よ奴らに組みして私に何の得があるそれに救世主の始末彼に一任していたはずだが皆様どうかご心配なさらず策は幾重にもございます二の国を滅びへ導く執行者として責務は果たしてまいりますと、uh-huh. いずれにせよ奴らのグラディオンは魔石の力を失った不完全な状態我らの杖とは比べようもないほどに弱い、okay. お詳しいですが確か失われているのよね。Yeah, but that's what they said about, that's what they said about the wand itself. そう、魔石の力だ。故に奴らは必ず魔石を求めるだろう。止める手立てはあるのですかなグラディオンの魔石。かの魔道をはかつて三人の従者に守らせた。OK。彼ら Oh, okay. So, three bosses, I guess. I still don't know what you, you lot are. Hmm. Right, h e l l Ollie boy, we need to find Tinkery's soulmate then, i n n i t Can you think of anyone who reminds you of a massive flying dragon? You mean、uh, someone dragon like? Come on, man, you know everyone in town, don't you? If you can't think, if you can't think who, who, who it might be, just ask around, i n n i t Floop, f l e e p flop, flop. Oh, hi. Me, 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 me. Myrtle. Oh, hi, Oliver. Hi, Myrtle. How, a long time in the sea. Has, how's it been working for Miss Layla? I love it. And it's, and it's getting better all the time. I know the names and prices of everything in the store now. Very, very impressive, young lady. Oh, I'm Swain, by the way. I don't really like to talk about it, but I've made it my business to protect these poor kids here. I'm what you might call their guardian. Hey, uh, you know she can't hear you, don't you? You what? He. <laughs> People from this world can't see or hear us, silly. This girl. This girl's my soulmate, can't you tell? Yeah, I suppose I can, now that she mentioned it. Yeah, man. They look, like ju- they look like just like each other, ain't it? They don't act the same, mind. Thank goodness for that. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Oliver, can you hear voices? Uh, nope. No, I can't hear them. Hmm, weird. Hey, w a n t to know what they, what they call me around the town these days? People have started calling me the, the Dairy Fairy. It's a little embarrassing, but I kind of like it. Neato. That's so great, Myrtle. I can't believe how much things have changed for you. You, you mean now, now they don't call me Stary Mary anymore? Yeah, I guess, thing, I guess things have changed. Haha. <laughs> Uh oh, there's a mad dog on the loose. Strange, I feel like I know him from somewhere. Isn't he sweet though? Ah,、uh, no. Hey there, hey there, Genghis. Are you out on your own again, sweetie? Hey, this dog, it's. It's right, it's Denny's. That,、uh, <clears throat> that's right, it's Denny's dog. You know, Denny who lives next door to me? They're always out walking together. Well, 
I guess you couldn't really call it walking. As soon as it schools out, the two of them go running off together all, all over town. But I haven't seen Denny lately. Even though you live next uh, next door? That's weird. It is, huh? I always know when he leaves the house. I hear him laughing and hollering. At least I did until recently. You mean he, he hasn't been out going outside? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's like Guy was. Crikey, you mean now we, we've cured Starry Mary, we've got Glary Carey to, to, to deal with instead? Typical. Glary Carey? That's a trip, bro. What, man? I thought you couldn't flip near me. Uh, uh. What are you getting so worked up about? I think he wants to tell us something. Oh, Genghis? What could he want? Looks like another case for the heroic wizard who can talk to the animals. Don't make fun of him. Oliver, I know we're supposed to be looking for Tengri's soulmate, but... Please, could we speak to Genghis? Sure, let's hear what he has to say. Just a second, Myrtle. I, I need to ask Genghis what's wrong. Uh, sure, how exactly? Oh, I, uh, I mean, I need to see if he has any clues, you know, being Denny's pet and, and all. Shut up, man. You're making it worse. He. <laughs> You can, you can be awfully strange sometimes, Oliver. Anyway, I have to open the sword. I see, I'll see. i see you around, okay? Uh, what was the lesson of it? How many times do I have to tell you? My master is a turtle! Blimey, that sounds serious. Are you listening? Are you? And you can see us? Sure I can. You're not exactly your age enemies. How come you suddenly start listening? Of course he can see us, because animals are all sensitive and, and that, in it. Oh, and we were listening, dog face. We just couldn't understand till Ollie Boy cast a spell, in it. Well, you seem to you seem so upset we had to find a way of speaking to you. There's something you want to tell us, isn't there, Genghis Sweetie? Grr, sweetie? Oh, sorry. I meant Mr. Genghis, sir. Grr, stupid humans anyway, I'll tell you again. My master Denny is the greatest athlete this town has ever seen. And I'm his best friend, the king of the dogs. You can come again, Genghis. I could swear I know someone who talks just like you. He's the pirate. He's the pirate. He's a Kublai, Kublai, Kublai Khan, Genghis Khan. That's so good. Okay, then change an accent. Arr. I was thinking the same thing. In fact, doesn't Genghis kind of look like somebody we know, too? It's Mr. Genghis, Oliver. But yes, I have the same feeling. Who the, f Who the flip could it be now? Kublai! How could we not have spotted it? Just look at his expression. Ah, could the old poor face it, it, it on... Uh, could the old poor face on another body? No, it, could, the old, could the old pirate's face hid on another body? Oh, let's look at it properly. This sharp point of view, Ollie boy. He talks just like him, too. Kind of rough. It's funny, huh? Over in your world, Kub Kublai keeps dragons, but here he's somebody's pet. Hey, do you think... What, man? Spit it out. Tangry soulmate. Could it be Denny? What makes you say that? Does he look like a dragon or something? Oh, I get you. Kublai and Tangri are proper close, ain't it? So it makes sense the Gengar's here would be close with Tangri soulmate. Exactly. But that would mean Kublai's pet in our world is, is his master in this one. The old switcheroo, huh? Eh? Classic stuff. Urgh, stop yapping and listen to me, will you? Oh, sorry, Mr. Genghis, sir. Are, are you listening now? God, until recently, my master and I spent all of our time training. Urgh. You did, huh? I used to see you running, uh, running around town all the time. Well, of course you did. We were working for our dream. I, for my master's dream of making the state championships. You were helping him train? I just said that, didn't I? Or, anyway, he didn't make the track team. Nobody ever said life was easy after all. Tell me about it. But I didn't give up. Not my master. He just trained harder than ever. That's the spirit. That's just what I imagine someone with, with a friend like you would do. But then it happened, girl. Maybe I trained too hard. Maybe I didn't look after him well enough. He went and got himself himself injured, did he? Is that why he's not been out, out and about lately? I didn't think it was anything serious. I thought he would be fine, and by the time I noticed it, 
It was too late. Arr. So that's so that's what's behind it, been out behind it all, eh? Grr, he lost his confidence. He was so convinced he could make the team next time. And then suddenly, he was different! Hey, I bet he's... Not broken. Could be, Ollie boy. Could well be. That would explain why Tengri can't fly too, huh? Then we have to help him. Mr. Genghis, sir, can you take us to your master? Grr, you think you can fix him? Fools! He's seen all the best doctors and they couldn't help. What makes you so special? Is is nothing a doc is, a doctor can fix, man. It's his heart, see? It's broken. And we just happen to specialize in mending broken hearts. Mr. Genghis, sir, you have to trust us. I think we can help Denny. Grr, fine. But if you hurt him, I'll bury your bones in your back garden. You know our horse, don't you? Our house, don't you? I'll wait for you there. <laughs> Same old story, eh? Well, I don't suppose there's any harm in Kublai owning, owing us in this world as well. You still here, Oliver? Did Genghis give you any clues? He sure did. It's bad news, Myrtle. Denny's hurt. He is? Oh, that's terrible. I had no idea. Wait, did you really talk to Genghis? Uh, I... No, I just figured it out. And it's worse than that. I think his heart may be, may be broken, too. I have to help him. I have to mend him. Sorry, Myrtle. You have no idea what I'm, which, what I'm talking about, huh? Maybe not, but I believe in you. You used magic to heal me, didn't you? Yes. Hey, Oliver, can I come with you? Denny and I were good friends once. And when I couldn't go outside, you helped me. You helped so much. Maybe I can help you this time. Gee, Myrtle, thank you. That's okay. Cool. She's a nice girl, eh? Hee <laughs> hee. Of course she is. She's my soulmate. Oh, crossing the street. This is dangerous. Oh. I really love the music in this game. Aha! Hey. This is your master's house, isn't it, Mr. Genghis, sir? Yes, but I can't take her any further than this. And he can't see us, and it looks like you're the man for the job, early boy. Sure. Are you sure he's in? Are you sure he's in there? Well, of course, I'm sure he's in there on on his own. Thought you just use magic to unlock it, man. Let me call him for you. It's that girl from next door. Denny, are you? Denny, are you in in there? Denny, it's me, Myrtle. Can you hear me? Oh shit! <laughs> Myrtle, get back! What is that? Not again! It's another flipping nightmare. Well, that's, that also means that we're going to get access to a, a new emotion, I think. Ooh, boy. It's confidence. Okay. Attack, attack. Do it, do it. Oil spill. What does that do? What does that what does that actually do? No. Take that. Oh that didn't work. Do it, do it, do it. Then switch. Maybe I shouldn't have done this attack. Uh, 
Uh, not very effective. Why am I missing so much? Ah! Stop it! Uh, try this. Well, that was fairly effective. Yes! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denny. Oliver, oh Oliver, everything went dark, so dark. It was Denny's heart, I, I feel it. It was crying out. He was in so much pain. It is weird. It must be the nightmare, innit? Huh? You mean Myrtle could see it too? I don't know, do I, but it seemed like she could hear me a, a bit, didn't it? Maybe she's more sensitive to these things than a mouse. Damn it. It's hard to see her so upset and not be able to do anything about it. Yes. Oi, Oli boy, you know it's not as it's not as simple as just beating the nightmare, is it? Oh, it's like when it happened to me, is it? So what piece of heart is he miss is he missing? Uh, uh, I just can't get up. Uh, I'll never catch them. He's lacking confidence, isn't he? Oliver, we need to get some from somewhere. Sure, Denny, Myrtle. Oliver, I think I understand what Denny was feeling. It was just like when it happened to me. Oh my, what can I do to help him? It's alright, Myrtle. I'll help him, I promise. Oliver. Denny, wait! I need to mend your heart. Now what do you know about my heart? I didn't make the cut, it's that simple. And now, with my injury, I don't deserve to run. They'll all overtake me, they'll all leave me up behind, and there's nothing you or I can do about it. Oh, Mar oh Denny. Myrtle. I need you to do something for me. I can help Denny, but I can't do it right away. So I need you to look out for him for a little while. Can you do that for me? Can you stay with him? Sure, Oliver. Anything I can do to help. Thanks, Myrtle. I'll be back real soon. This is all very heroic of you, Ollie boy. But have you got any idea if we can find some confidence in a hurry? Ain't like it grows on trees, is it? Well, I... It doesn't matter, let's just go back and visit all of the places we've been so far. Back in our world, you mean? Yeah, why not? There's gotta be so someone somewhere with more confidence than... Uh, than it's good for them. Thanks, you guys. Let's go find some confidence. Who's very confident? Kublai? Maybe Kublai. I mean, he is very confident. We'll see. Still wish I could move a little faster. Just a little bit faster. Just a little bit. It's a little bit faster. Oh. Holy boy, man. Look at your locket, will you? It's glowing like nobody's business. I'm sure it wasn't it, it wasn't doing that before. So it's Kublai. Well, I guess he does have a lot of confidence. Arr, did you speak my name, boy? Why, why then, I take it you've got a cure for my dragon? Uh, not just yet, sir. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Arya, but don't be. At least you're trying, which is more than I can say for the rest of my Discovery crew. Uh, actually, Captain Kublai, sir, we were wondering if we could ask you a fa ask for a favor. Ah, uh, with it then, boy. I don't much care for meekness. Well, there's somebody who's had a piece of their heart stolen, and we were wondering if we could use a piece of your heart to help them. 
It's right. After all, not many, not many people have, have got so much confidence as you, man. I don't care much for flattery either, fairy. What would you have me do? You don't need to do anything. Just stand there, well, Ollie boy. Waves his hand, and it'll be over. It'll be over before you know it. Very well. Do your worst. Cool. Arr, what have you done to me, boy? What is this feeling? It is it's not bad. Jeepers, that sure is a, is a big hunk of confidence. You're not wrong, Ollie boy. That uh, that lock of, lock, lock of yours is fit to burst. Now let's head over to Motorville and and, and mend that Denny Lane's broken heart, shall we? Sure thing, Mr. Drippy. Thanks a lot, Captain Kublai, sir. It was nothing, boy. You could have had. You could have taken more. More for all I cared. Uh, before we part, take these. I found them in a pile of plunder. They mean nothing to me, but I dare say they might sit well in that magic book of yours. Oh. Seek fortune. Mark your map of the location of hidden treasure. What? Hey, there are pages from the Wizard's Companion with new spells for me to try. Thanks, Ku Captain Kublai. Top our fight, top our fire face. Right, time to get moving, Ollie boy. Might reveal here we come. Shonk. Yeah. I wish it would take, take me to the right place. Don't run me over, I am a child. I am but a child. I know not the ways of the street. Acknowledge my innocence. I am but a schoolboy. Right, oh, Wally boy, time to end over that confidence. Pew. Shunk. Huh? Huh? What? What are you doing? Myrtle? Denny! I can feel it! The pain in his heart is disappearing! Ruff. Hey boy! You're here too! I oh, know. Hey boy! You're here too! I'm so sorry! I've caused everybody so much trouble! It's not your fault, you were... My heart! It feels so light, like a weight has been lifted. You did this, didn't you? He did. And he did the same for me, Denny. Oliver knows how to use magic spells. Heh, <laughs> I'd be surprised you hearing that from anyone but you, Myrtle. Oh, just date. Wait, no, I... He. <laughs> Don't worry, Oliver, he doesn't actually believe her. <laughs> You're right, Genghis. We need to get back in training. But Denny, your leg, are you sure you should? Huh, that? That? That was, it was just a scratch. I can't sit around feeling sorry for myself because of that. The longer I sit around, the faster the others get. I can't let them beat me. I have to make make the cut next time. Hehe, <laughs> that's the Denny I, I know. Good luck. Ha, huh, thanks, but I won't need it. Come on, boy, it's training time. I can feel myself getting slower by the second. <laughs> Crikey, doesn't look too slow to, to me. He it looks like he's forgotten all about his injury. That's the power of his heart. He did it again, Oliver. Thank you so much. It wasn't me, Myrtle. It was Denny. His heart is, was strong enough to make it. I just gave it a helping hand. You really are a hero, aren't you? Maybe even a handsome prince. C cut it out, Myrtle. Hey, I sure hope Denny makes the state championships, don't you? He <laughs> he. Of course I do. It won't be easy, but some something tells me he'll make it. Of course he will. Especially now that we've helped him on the way. Oh no. I have to get back to the store. Huh? What's wrong, Myrtle? I was in the middle of, of opening up. Miss Layla will be so mad. You were working? 
Jeepers, you need to get back there. Ha, ah, she's just as easily distracted as someone else I could mention. Oh yes, and who might that be? Let's go back. Ah, all right. Oh, P. P's there. I'm so sorry, Miss Layla. I didn't mean to leave the store like that. Myrtle, dear. Oh, I can't remember the, the, the voice I gave her. Myrtle, dear, where have you been? I was worried about you. Look, it's, it's, it's Esther and the other one. Hee <laughs> hee. And who might you be, sweetie? This, this little lady's been around an awful lot lately. Hey, what little lady? There you are. Hello, Oliver. I've been looking for you. P? 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 She's here somewhere? He <laughs> he. Is she a friend of yours, Oliver? Then I'll leave you two and get back to work. See you soon. What? Well, it looks like you know, it looks like you found who you're looking for, dearie. I'll leave, I'll leave you with Oliver, shall I? Thanks, Miss Layla. Have a, have a nice day. Oliver, I have to tell you something. I'm sorry, P. What is it? I... I, um, who's he, who's, who's he saying sorry to? Oliver, the slithery one and the doggy one and the bony one, they're coming. The keepers. You have to be careful. I, I don't understand, P. Yes, you do. Just be careful. Okay, P, I'll try. Uh, what? Who are you, ta who are you just talking to? Huh? Oh, oh, gee, I'm sorry. You don't know about P yet, do you, Swain? She's a funny little girl, I know. I see her here in Motorville so sometimes. I've seen her in my dreams, too. But we can't see her. No, I still can't figure... Uh, huh? She's gone. She always does this. What's wrong? Did she disappear again? Uh-huh. And I didn't understand what she was trying to tell me. I think I get it. Get what, Dri Drippy? Well, Merton and that lot can, can, see us, can see us a lot from our world, right? So that means P probably can't see us a lot either, can't, innit? It's the same but the other way around, you mean? It's right. It's not so weird when you think about it, eh? That's not being able to see someone from, from another world. Um, it's not? Who cares, as long as you can see her, eh, Oliver? Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about, about going and seeing how Tengri's do, doing. If your if your guess was right, Oliver, and it out we sorted Denny out, so Tangri should be able to fly again, tidy. You're right. Let's go check on Tangri. Gateway. I'm gonna talk to, to, to Swain though. Not Swain, to Kublai. Hi there, Captain Kublai. Uh, do you know where Tengri is? Grr, you came at a good time, boy, you see. He also has that, that metal on his chest. Behold, here's a sight for sore eyes, no mistake. He stopped sniveling and took to the skies again not not long after you left. Like magic it was. Wait, you meddling dogs did something while, while my back was turned, didn't you? Well, it's it's a little hard to explain, but we went to another world and Oliver helped the Tengri there get better. All you need to know is that Oliver's magic is the reason the Tengri is flying again. 
said this spout nonsense, I see. But no matter. You do you did as you said you would. I'll not question your methods. <laughs> I had no idea that the real Tengri was so lively. This is how dragons should be. Arr, seems he's sticking a liking to you, and after all my hard work. Gah, so be it. I know when I'm beaten, he's yours. You're his master now, lad. You and he both know it already. Oh, really? But... What's the matter, Worm? Not good enough for you? N no, no, sir. Thank you very much, Captain Kublai, sir. Grr, ha, 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 ha. That's settled then. Tangry lad, say hello to your new master. Ha, <laughs> ha. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Tangry. Likewise, I'm sure. All right, let's go. Let's go find the magic stones. Say so, say, say southward course, lad. You'll happen upon solitary hours soon enough. Ka. Let's go. Now we can fly, so I should be able to go everywhere on the map. Wow. Uh, how, how does this work? Flippin' Nora. Is this all enough for you, Wally boy? Right out, since the smallest mistake up, up here up here could result in certain death. I reckon now's a good time to give you Captain Drippy's Don't Crash course in dragon flying. Don't worry, man. If you survive the first five minutes, there's nothing to it. You just change your dragons with L and use R to have a good look around, innit? Oh, and when you want to plonk your feet back on solid ground, press X. You'll see a circle appear. Use L to shift the circle where you want it, then press X to, 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 to land on that spot. If you change your mind and want to carry on flying, press circle. Just be sure to watch the color of the circle. If it's blue, you're right to land, but if it's red, you'll have to find somewhere else. Once you've had enough of being back on the boring old ground, honk on that dragon horn par par face gave you, and Tangri will come fla flapping. Just press up, and you'll give it a good pop. But enough for me, Aberin, uh, my Aberin. Let's enjoy a dragon's eye view of the world, eh? Cool. Oof. Holy shit. I kind of can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Oh, there is no no altitude. Okay. Where am I going exactly? Oh, this is interesting. Oh, it's that island. I think. Yeah, it is, yeah. And... We're down. What is that? Sorry? I'm, I'm just gonna be safe about it. Crikey, look at this monument by here. Ah, uh, well, this didn't make here make it here by accident. It must have something to do with the stones. Hey, look, there's something written on it. Or do I have to translate translate it myself? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's oh boy. It's translation time then. Um. Right, 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 right. Quite right. First letter is a T. That letter is a what? Oh, okay, it's an A. That letter is oh shit, it's a TH. That is another T. A T. That can be two T's. Um, that's an E. That's that's an R. And it is a what? Oh, C. C right? C. That's another E. That is an S. That's 
A-E. And it is an OTH. Okay. And then the bottom part is an S. D. An R. I don't see that one yet, I don't think. Oh shit. I'm not bad at this. How am I so bad at this? My skills of pattern recognition are pretty terrible. Oh, it's, it's an A again. I was not looking at it again. And then it's circle with P. With him. Right, yeah. This is I slash J. And it's that letter which you've seen before. It's another P. P, 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 not R. Then it is an A. Then it is an M. Then it is an E. And then it is... Fuck. So that's a T H, right? That's a T H. And this is right from the right to the left, so the... So the top part says... Uh-huh. That doesn't make sense. Oh, there's more? There is more. That could be right. No, it's not a C. That's not a C. Fuck. It's an O. It's an O. And... Oh, fuck. No, no, no. Oh, this... That this... He, he just read it. I thought it, I had to, to decode it. The secret that the map imparts lies not without... But in its heart. And that mean and that means what exactly? It means if I'm not very much mistaken that the stones ain't on its island. What? You heard me. The secret the secret of where they're hidden lies not without, it said, meaning not on the surface of the map for all to see. And I reckon that a a bit about a, that that bit about it being in its heart means the real locations of the stones are like lurking somewhere inside this flippin' the flippin' thing. So uh, how do we get them out? Well, I don't flip it now, do I? Come down, Trippy. It's not as if it's not as if we have the map at the moment. Looks like we'd better go and talk to old Kublai again. Giddy up, Tengri. Okay, that was something, though. We made some progress. Would I be able to land here? Oh, I would. Okay. Can, then I can pretty much go anywhere. Right? Can I land here? I can. Good. No real limitations. As far as I can see for now. There's a bunch of stuff I never got. Yeah, there's a, those caves up there. There's those caves down here. A lot to explore. Um. That's good. I could have just teleported here, you idiot. Idiot! Sorry, why is Skull Cave not not a not a location? Oh, it is Skull Mountain. Should have done that. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I haven't saved in a while. I suppose it'll be fine. It's fine. Ha ha ha! Boy, did you find those magic stones? Well, um, not exactly. We did find a big old monument, though. It was... The poor is Mr. King of the Pirates. Is that there were no stones there. Not a single one. I reckon you'd better give us another look at the map of yours. Hmm. Curious. And you searched thoroughly? Thoroughly? We're trying to save the world, man. Of course we search, search flipping thoroughly. It was definitely the right island. 
Here, Ollie boy, give the Nazcan. Yeah, it's gonna be hidden. That's what what the candle's there for. Maybe give the Nazcan from that monument thing thingy another raid. That'll tell you the secret, I'll bet. The secret that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. What could it mean? Well, the heart stuff always has to do something to do with your magic, right? So should we cast Take Heart on it or something? Hey, cast it on the map. And what what will we do with that? Well, what will we got from it? If we got nothing, that is. But it could be something to do with magic, right? Yeah, that tends to be the case when you're involved. Urgh, you put a good deal of faith in the boy's wiz wizarding. Does he know many spells? Oh, lots and lots. People just keep giving giving them to him. You're not you're not wrong, Esther. We've got a t tidy pile of spells now, ain't it? I reckon we we must have something that'll work. The secret that, that the map imparts lies not without, but in its heart. Do any of your spells spring to mind, Oliver? Gee, one or two, maybe. Well, there's only one way to find out. It's it's this one. It's not. Is it actually the take the take heart? No, it's not. And it's hard. Ah. Right. I've had that for a while. Tidy. We've hit the flipping jackpot. So they were hiding separately. I had my suspicions. There are three stones after all. To hide them in one place seemed foolhardy. Hang on, I'm not sure I understand. What what made all the marks appear on the map? It was the spell I used, Insight. It shows you the memories of the people that, who once owned an object. I get it, so it showed you the place that the, the person who made the map wanted to keep secrets. Yeah, the memories just came rushing into my mind all, of, all, all at once. And there was a message too. Well, what was it? Spit it out, man. Uh, let me see. The wand is a weapon of the heart. The stones merely reflect its, surf its surface. True power li lies in the depths. That's all it said. What the heck's that supposed to mean when it's when it's a home? Hmm. I'm sure we'll find out eventually. Let's think about it. let's think about it while we look for the stone, shall we? Fair enough. Here, pirate face. Will you give us Will you give us a, a lend of the map? It'll be a right faff coming back here all the time to check it. The stones are your concern, I have no need of the map. Take it. It'll free it'll free up more space for good, honest plunder. Cool. Thank you very much, Captain. We'll we'll go see what we can do we can find at the three places marked marked on the map. Then it looks like we'll be spending plenty of time up, up in the clouds with Tengri. I can't wait. <laughs> yeah, we'll be keeping them busy alright. Tidy, it's time to begin the next chapter in the in Adventures of the Intrepid. Wizard Ollie Boy, the search for the magic stones. Yep, travel. I'm just traveling to the outside part. <laughs>